Welcome back. Let's do question 2C2. If W is equal to the square root of 7 minus X, so for X, if W plus 2 is equal to X plus 1. So we have to substitute here where this W we put square root of 7 minus X. We have square root of 7 minus X plus 2 is equal to X plus 1. We need to isolate this set, so it becomes square root of 7 minus x is equal to x plus 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, so it's going to be x minus 1. Now to get rid of the set, we have to, we have to square both sides. So square root of 7 minus x squared is equal to x minus 1 squared. Then we get 7 minus x. And then this is a square binomial. It's very easy to expand a square binomial. You just say x squared. Square the first term. Then take the sign, which is minus. And then multiply the product of the two terms by 2. So it's x times 1 times 2. x times 1 times 2, which is 2x. And then the last time we square this one, which is always positive, so it's going to be negative 1 squared is 1. Okay. Maybe if this is giving you problems, remember that. Remember that x minus 1 squared is equal to x minus 1 times x minus 1. The common mistake is that people just distribute the exponent. No, we don't do that. We distribute the exponent if we're raising a product to a power. Not like this. This is x minus 1 times x minus 1. Then you do the FOIL method, x times x, x squared, x times negative 1, negative x, negative 1 times x, negative x, negative 1 times negative 1, positive 1. Then you simplify. These are like terms. You get x squared minus 2x plus 1, which is just the same as this. Right? Now let's get our standard form. 0 is equal to x squared the negative 2x plus x because we're going to transpose this one negative 2x plus x that's negative 1x and then we transpose transpose 7 becomes 1 minus 7 which is minus 6 then we look for the factors of negative 6 that can give us 1 6 should be 3 and 2 and then negative 6 means that one is negative and the other is positive and then here, negative x, 1x shows us that the bigger one is negative. So it should be negative 3 and positive 2. Please do check your factors after factorizing. So 0 is equal to x minus 3, and then x plus 2. Let's check. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So this is correct. Therefore, either x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. And then x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 2. Right, this one we have to check if our answers are applicable or not. This one is not applicable. 